Are we going into a recession? This is a question that just keeps coming and we keep getting asked. And this is something that's really important for you all to remember. Recession does not equal a housing crisis. According to Doug Bryan, CEO of Men Property Management, he states that with the exception of two recessions, the Great Recession from 2007 to 2009 and the Gulf War Recession from 1990 to 1991, no other recessions have impacted the U.S. housing market. And according to Freddie Mac Home Price Index data collected from 1975 to, 19, to 2018. Now here's an example of the graph from information from CoreLogic that shows exactly this. Obviously, the last crash on the housing market in 2008 saw a devastating decrease in home prices because of what was happening back in 2008. In 2008, loans were rated as D loans and they were being sold as A loans. And also back then, we had stated income loans where basically people could just state what amount of income that they made without actually having to prove it. And therefore, they often weren't truthful and they couldn't actually afford the payments. So we had major, major defaults. Back in 2008, homes from one month to the next were appraising 20, 30, or even as high as over $100,000 more than the previous homes that were being sold. And that really does not make sense and it should never have happened. So what's really important is that we have to understand that 2008 is much different than what is happening now. And according to David Rosenberg, chief economist of Golkin Shelf Associates, Inc., he states that what 9-11 has in common with what's happening today is that the shock also has generated fear, angst, and anxiety amongst the general public. People avoided crowds then as they believed another terrorist attack was coming and they were acting the same as they are today in terms of avoiding getting sick. The same parts of the economy are under pressure, airlines, leisure, hospitality, restaurants, entertainment, and consumer discretionary services in general. It's as though all of these services are on pause, so our economy has also been put on pause as people would continue to shelter in place. So if we compare this 9-11 uh, environment and the dot-com crash, we see that the S&P 500 dropping drastically from September of 2000 until October of 2002. However, at the same time, we see an increase in annual home price appreciation, ranging from 6.6% to 8.6%. Now, obviously, this is very different from what we saw in 2008. Now, hey, I'm not giving my opinion here. I'm just stating the facts. I want all of my, my clients and friends to be informed. So we thought that this could be of service to for you. Please feel free to reach out to us here at Coil and Bernie Real Estate Team with any questions or comments that you might have. We're always here to help and of course to serve you.